Welcome to Authentic Walk with God. Next Sunday, Christians everywhere in the world will celebrate the resurrection from the death of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. No other person in world history performed this unique feat. No one else died, was buried in the ground, but rose from the grave, except Jesus the Christ. This is a distinguishing mark of our Savior and great leader from the rest leaders of various world religions. The topic for today's episode is the power to conquer. For today's scripture reading, please go with me to Matthew chapter 28, verses 1 through 7. I read, After the Sabbath, at dawn on the first day of the week, Mary Magdalene and the other Mary went to look at the tomb. There was a violent earthquake, for an angel of the Lord came down from heaven and going to the tomb, rolled back the stone and sat on it. His appearance was like lightning and his clothes were white as snow. The guards were so afraid of him that they shook and became like dead men. The angel said to the women, do not be afraid, for I know that you are looking for Jesus who was crucified. He is not here. He has risen, just as he said. Come and see the place where he lay. Then quickly go and tell his disciples, he has risen from the dead, and he is going ahead of you into Galilee. There you will find him. Now I have told you. Today there is so much fear everywhere fear of the unknown and also fear of the known the devil seems to be succeeding in making many people including many church girls to live daily in slavery when they should be living in liberty this unfortunate situation has given rise to the multiplicity of occultist prayer houses and outright demonic secret societies which today promise people safe heavens. People go to every land in trying to look for power to live securely in their homes, in their offices, in their workshops, and in their business environments. These seekers of power and protection are promised quote-unquote power by satanic agents who parade themselves as men and women of God, both inside and outside of the four walls of a church gathering. Some church and ministry founders we have learned hold their parishioners hostage in their places of meeting by the use of occult powers. Today the word attack in many quarters has been given undue prominence. Any little unpleasant experience is regarded as demonic attack. As a result, many fake men and women of God have appeared to help people navigate through these so-called demonic attacks. Many people are told by these fake pastors that the unpleasant experiences they go through are cursed most of the time by their loved ones, including their spouses, children, parents, and siblings, and their other significant others by the use of occultic powers. They also are told that the, their enemies are also involved in their ugly experiences. Satan rejoices when people are misled this way. Though Satan has zero power over the lives of individuals who have committed their lives to Jesus Christ, some Christians still live in fear. Another sad part of this situation is the fact that a few genuine men and women of God in an attempt to please the apparitioners are now acting like these fake pastors, dreaming and interpreting dreams, issuing prophecies, and performing all kinds of shady miracles. Unfortunately, this situation is helping Satan to keep many people in his domain because they are now pursuing shadows instead of reality in their religious exercise. 
These people have left Jesus Christ, the victorious one, for Satan, the vanquished. They are going after material prosperity, earthly security, and miracles and wonders instead of eternal salvation and the eternal security of their souls. They are going through the wide gate and are walking on the wide road, which are passageways for hell-bound pedestrians. They avoid the narrow gate and the narrow path which lead to heaven. Few pedestrians take this gate and this road. Which gate did you enter from? And which road are you walking on now? As we celebrate Easter in a few days, let us be reminded that Easter is the celebration of Christ's victory over sin and death. Easter is the story of conquering power. Easter is the affirmation of God's ultimate power to deal with every situation of our lives. Easter is the demonstration of God's power over sin and death and over stones which prevent many from reaching their potentials, both spiritual and physical. In our Bible reading, especially verse 2, we read of the rolling away of the gravestone. My brother, my sister, let me assure you that if you genuinely commit your life to Christ and trust him unreservedly, he will, in accordance with his will for you, roll away all the stones which make your life miserable. If you follow Christ and not agents of Satan, no matter who they are and the titles they bear, all the stones which impede your personal, business, educational, and economic progress will be rolled away. If you follow Christ and stop pursuing shadows, you will live in liberty and never in fear. The reason this will happen in your life is because Christ will fight your battles and win all of them for you. Do you desire to conquer instead of being conquered? Then appropriate the following three facts and read the scripture passages attached to them. One, the power to conquer is not the power of the flesh. We find this in Ephesians chapter 6, verses 10 through 18. Secondly, the power to conquer is not occult power. Acts of the Apostles chapter 19, verses 13 through 19. The same book, chapter 8, verses 9 through 13, and then verses 18 through 24. Then you go to Jeremiah chapter 23, and you read from verse 25 to 32. And the third place, the power to conquer is the power of God. And this is made very clear in Romans chapter 15, verses 17 through 21, and Ephesians chapter 1, verses 8 through 23. Yes, the power to conquer resides in Christ and in him alone. Yes, he arose from the grave. Death could not keep him in the grave. Christ our Savior tore away the bars of death. He arose with a mighty triumph over Satan. He arose a victor from the dark domain. He lives today and forever. He will reign with all who believe in him. Child of God, Rejoice that your Savior is a victor and a conqueror. Stop living in fear. Cling on to this living Savior without looking back, and you will also conquer. Walk in freedom and not in fear, because Jesus has won all the battles for you. Be emboldened. Satan and his agents will run away from you. Happy Easter in advance, and may Christ the conqueror accompanying you in all your future conquests. In Jesus' name, amen. Until next week, I remain your brother and friend, Peter Lamadin Don Wachuku, Director, Center for Family Life and Pastoral Care, Owere, Nigeria. God bless you abundantly.